When it comes to micro-needling for hair regrowth, researchers aren't yet sure which needle size elicits the best results. In clinical studies, needle lengths of 1.5 mm to 2.5 mm used once weekly or bi-weekly have been shown to improve hair counts in men with androgenic alopecia. Even still, there's debate over whether shorter needle lengths used more frequently might lead to better results. In the last five years, micro-needling therapies have exploded in popularity, especially among hair loss sufferers. Research now shows that micro-needling can increase hair counts by 15%. As clinical evidence for micro-needling continues to grow, so do the devices available to consumers, microneedle rollers, microneedle stamps, and even automated needling devices, with needle lengths ranging from 0.25 mm to 2.5 mm and higher. When it comes to treating pattern hair loss, what's the best micro-needling needle length? 0.25, 0.5, 1.0, 1.5, 2 2.0 mm, or higher? The evidence indicates that when it comes to treating pattern hair loss, the right micro-needling needle length is highly contextual. It depends on how frequently you plan on micro-needling and whether you're combining micro-needling with other treatments. Needle lengths of 0.25 mm to 0.5 mm improve topical absorption. At shorter needle depths 0.25 mm to 0.5 mm, micro-needling only wounds the top layers of the skin. This will improve the absorption of topicals like minoxidil. However, these shallower depths likely won't evoke the growth factors necessary to encourage hair follicle proliferation. Needle lengths of 1.5 mm to 2.5 mm evoke growth factors for hair follicle proliferation. At longer needle depths 1.5 mm to 2.5 mm, micro-needling needles will puncture the dermis of our scalp skin. This has important ramifications to hair follicle proliferation because the dermis is where the hair follicle stem cell bulge resides. This hair follicle stem cell bulge is sort of like the source material for a hair follicle. These stem cells help replenish and repopulate the cells that constitute each hair follicle. If a hair follicle's stem cell population is completely depleted, hair follicles can no longer replace old cells, and the hair follicles will stop proliferating or growing. Interestingly, we can stimulate these stem cells via wounding. If wounds are incurred surrounding these stem cell bulges, the growth factors stimulated during wounding can even signal to these hair follicle stem cells to initiate a new antigen phase of the hair cycle. For pattern hair loss sufferers, this often means increases to hair counts within the realms of 15%, and that's without any other therapies. That's an impressive improvement. We only see these hair count increases from studies using micro-needling devices that puncture 1.5 mm to 2.5 mm deep. In other words, we only see these hair count increases at micro-needling lengths that stimulate the hair follicle stem cell bulge. We likely need to microneedle at depths of 1.5 mm to 2.5 mm if we're to expect appreciable stimulation of the hair follicle stem cell bulge, and thereby appreciable hair follicle proliferation hair regrowth. So, should we all microneedling at needle lengths of 1.5 mm or greater, not necessarily. When it comes to needle depths, there is an upper limit. Specifically, we want to avoid puncturing something called an emissary vein. Emissary veins aren't everywhere on the scalp. And in general, they're located at depths deeper than 5 mm at the bottom edges of the hypodermis. There's no reason for us to risk wounding an emissary vein via micro-needling, especially because we can stimulate the hair follicle stem cell bulge at shallower depths. So, now that we've established a lower and upper limit for mirwaneedling needle lengths, let's revisit that question, which needle length is best for regrowing hair? Since microneedling research is still in its infancy, we don't yet know the best needle length. But we can give you a general idea of the best needle lengths based on the clinical studies on microneedling published so far. In a 2013 study, participants used 5% minoxidil twice daily alongside microneedling with a 1.5 mm needle roller once weekly. Over three months, the author Dr. Durrett found that the 1.5 needle roller improved hair regrowth from minoxidil by 400%. In a 2015 study, participants used minoxidil and finasteride daily alongside microneedling with a 1.5 mm needler roller either once weekly or twice weekly. 
After six months, the researchers found significant increases to hair counts. In a 2017 study, participants used 5% minoxidil alongside a 1.5 mm to 2.5 mm automated needler once every two weeks. Over six months, the investigators found comparable hair count increases to that of Dr. Durat's 2013 study. They also found that microneedling alone improved hair counts by 15%. The bottom line, stick with a 1.5 mm to 2.5 mm needle length. Why? It's clinically effective, it increases both topical absorption and hair follicle proliferation, and it's short enough to avoid puncturing an emissary vein. Moreover, stick with needling once weekly, or once every two weeks. Again, it's clinically effective. Other recommendations on other websites are theoretical, anecdotal, and generally unsubstantiated. Please like the video and subscribe, thank you.